This was a really exciting week for Itinerant Immersive. Ultimately, what we're doing is a business. We want to make money making art and help other artists make a living too. So this abandoned spaceship that will travel all over is just the first in a series of immersive art installations, or at least that's the dream. But it's a big project. And to finance this, we've treated it like a new small business. But getting a loan for this big weird art thing took a little while. Um, this is certainly an unusual venture. But this week, we got it. And that means we have the money to finish this build out, to get the equipment we need ordered, and to start working with artists all over on all kinds of pieces of it. So in the near future, if you're an artist, and if you'd like to contribute to this abandoned spaceship, look out in this coming week for an RFP, a request for proposals. In that, it'll outline how you can get involved, how you can get paid to make weird art, and to help us create what, again, hopefully, is just the first in a long series of traveling immersive installations. It's been an exciting week, and not just in the background, a lot has happened on the spaceship. Let me show you that. It's almost a week later and finally warm enough again to do more spray foam. And now that I kind of know what we're doing, I wanted to show how I've got everything set up and, and how we're getting the foam preheated and making everything work. So, here we go. The foam canisters come in these cases of six canisters of these double canister things, along with the applicator tips that you have to screw on. But before you can use them, they have to be preheated to between 85 and 90 degrees. To do so, I'm using my sous vide cooker from home in an ice chest and I made a PVC rig, which you can kind of see at the bottom, just to keep things roughly aligned uh, so they don't flop over quite as much. After you pull them out, uh, you then pop them into the gun with the applicator tip in the end and it goes really fast, as you can see. Got a lot done. It's gonna take a couple passes, but this stuff works pretty well. So far anyway, it's not comfortable. Okay, so we're about to install the gutters on the trailer, but before we can install the gutters, I have to go through and clean up all these edges, pull out a bunch of staples, bend the metal back so I can slide the gutters underneath and so we can attach them to the top of the gutter so I'm gonna spend the next probably hour or so pulling out a bunch of nails and screws and staples and get the metal prepped for the gutters We got both sides of the manufactured home power washed and primed so Tox could get started working on the outside. And wow, that guy works fast.
Murillo has been working on the outside of the spaceship for just a few days, and as you can see, he's done a lot. Tox is a really talented artist and a joy to work with. We work together on Sugar High. He's done murals all over, and I could not be happier to see what he's doing to transform this building into what is unmistakably an abandoned spaceship. You might notice that the building behind me doesn't look a lot like a spaceship yet. Certainly not the front. It's kind of boxy, but we're working on that. I am coming this week, going to go pick up some aircraft parts that we can use to kind of change your profile and shape, but we're still looking for a few things. So if you or anyone you know has access to, I don't know, like a wrecked jet plane or something round and weird, reach out to us. We're always looking for more resources and more creative ways to make this look like something that travels through space rather than something that sits on a lot and you know has people live in it. Reach out to us. Mm -hmm. 